Today, we're providing a warning for anyone going to the Google Play Store, so Android users, looking for the official app from DJI known as the Fly App. This app controls the consumer-grade drones from the popular Chinese manufacturer. At the moment on Google Play, you are more likely to download a fake version full of ads trying to charge you for access to basic functions. You might think that description's a little bit harsh, but I'll explain why that isn't the case. First, getting the YouTube a bit out of the way. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Hit the subscribe button for more drone content. And could my awesome regulars continue to hit the like button nice and early? It really does help the video and the channel. You're all awesome for helping in this way. And hey, it's free too. There are plenty of other apps out there that allow you to control DJI drones, some of which charge you as well for their use. Popular versions include Litchi. Now, the biggest difference here is how the apps are marketed, with apps like Litchi being sold as alternatives that also provide a lot of functionality not available in the standard manufacturer app. Those apps are alternatives and never try to convince you that they are the official app. There's a lot of development that goes into them, and although I prefer in the main to use the official DJI apps, they have their uses if used carefully. This app, however, makes no such attempts to separate itself, calling itself the Go Fly for DJI drones. This is clearly intentionally close to the official app DJI Fly name to cause people looking for the original app to download it. This is even more obvious when you look at the reviews of users complaining that they've had to pay for an app to use their DJI drone. There are several issues with this app forming reasons why I would wholeheartedly recommend you do not use or pay for the fake app under any circumstances. The highlight, the key reason is safety. The vast majority of reviews from users shows the app is constantly popping up ads and restricting the use of features behind paywalls, sometimes even during flight, leaving the pilot to scrabble through ads to gain control of the app and therefore full control of the drone again. This simply is not safe. Below this key reason, which by itself kills any need to use or even consider this app in my opinion, there are issues of the ads being constant and taking users to some pretty unsafe content when they do follow the ad links. There's also a paywall for a lot of basic tasks which are free on the official app. Frankly, there is no benefit in having this app over the official one and it appears to be nothing more than a money-making exercise presented in a very scammy way. There is another huge reason not to download this fake app and that is the premium they ask for users to remove the ads and access all the features. The DJI Fly app again is free to users of DJI consumer drones. The development cost, etc., is included in the cost of the drone that you've purchased. But this fake version asks you to spend £14 per month more on an ongoing basis. That's another £168 a year to basically have the same features as a free app you can download. Looking at the reviews in more detail, and you can see a high number of one-star reviews complaining about the ads, safety, and other issues. So the reviews are pretty crazy, with many drone flyers reporting that they've had drone flights interrupted by ads blocking the entire screen, and some even experiencing potential data issues with full screen ads seemingly trying to imitate the fake app and have them enter their username and passwords again, giving the data to who knows who. So that is a fake advert on a fake app. It all seems very precarious when you're sharing data with it and even payment details. Now this issue has really been allowed to happen because the DJI official app is not available on the Google Play Store. Instead, you can only download the app for Android from DJI directly. Something many of us do begrudgingly, and I'm not really happy with allowing the app to update itself, etc. But the whole DJI not on the Google Store issue is a story all of itself and not the focus for today. Certainly, the lack of the official app on the store creates an environment where an app developer can take advantage of consumers who are searching for what they perceive to be a safe platform for the app mentioned on all DJI leaflets, etc. when you buy a drone from them. So this video is a warning to all users not to download this fake app. And instead, if you're happy to download it directly from DJI, follow the link in the description to this video to get the official version. Remember, the DJI Fly app will not constantly pop-up ads or demand a £14 per month subscription. So if you have that issue, you're on the fake one. Any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd also be interested to hear in the comments from anyone who has had any experience with the fake app. Sean out.